Welcome back, beautiful souls, to our channel, Living with Arete. Today's topic is all about twin flame, love, soulmates, what's the difference, how can I find them or attract them. We are in a twin flame relationship, so uh, that is why I'm going to talk also about my experiences in a twin flame relationship because I know a lot of people, especially in the conscious community, would like to um, unite with their twin flames or I would more say the people that feel called to because not every conscious person feels called to unite with their twin flames. Some just want to stay with their soulmate and um, uh, some feel very called to to come into union with their twin flame and it is time for that actually it's it's been happening since always but you know more and more twin flames are you know uniting and it's it's for a great purpose twin flame love is very intense and it is one of the most challenging relationships but the most challenging things are the most beautiful so before we get started with this whole topic uh, grab yourself some drinks some 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 food some fruit or whatever and may I remind you that we offer a membership where we share knowledge wisdom experience about our healing journey for you and as well as raw veganism things how to heal your body mind and soul how to cleanse yourself do a detox how to transition into raw, raw veganism or fruitarianism even if you're interested in that we also do raw vegan challenges where we invite people to join like a one month raw vegan challenge and there we have workshops you get our recipe book for free you get the detox bowel program uh, book for f for free included and yeah you get our mentorship we also offer mentorship programs which are more you know for people that really want to build their wealthy life to feel healthy wealthy um, and to feel fulfilled, meaning to heal, uh, because with wealth comes also healing your shadow side, which doesn't believe it's worthy enough. So you have to work with that. Um, so that's what we offer mentorship towards as well. And yeah, also retreats. If you ha wanna have a private retreat, especially here in Brazil, or if uh, you wanna you know, join our, our future retreats, you can sign up on our website. Everything is linked down below. It's so hot. I just five minutes ago had a little shower, not shower, but I was in the water and it's already freaking hot. I feel like going in the water again. <laughs> All right. Um, twin flames. All right. Why do so many people feel called to unite with their twin flame in this day and age well we all know nowadays if you're especially on social media we we all know everyone is talking about the 5d consciousness we are raising the vibration we are coming up a lot of a lot of energy is being transmuted and shifted and released and especially received in a, in a different kind of way twin flames when they are in union and their union is at a stage where it's very healthy um, they have so much power to raise the earth's consciousness the main purpose of a twin flame relationship really is to not only vibrate higher for your own personal needs but also when you just walk on the street together you automatically by being in union you raise the consciousness of that place and not only that space but our chakras they travel miles and miles kilometers and when for instance i'm at this beach right my energy radiates thousands of like kilometers from here so i'm affecting also a different village or a city from here and twin flames have the power in union to do that just double so it's better than just one it's like a, you know how they have like these six packs of like oh i'll just get like a, 
a six pack of, of um, whatever water, <laughs> whatever you guys drink. And that's kind of like that is just a two pack, let's say like a twin. That's why they, that's why they say twin flames. The flame means very passionate, intense. Um, it can burn you in a way, but if 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 you're the if you're a person that is not destructive by nature and you're conscious and you're working on yourself, it's gonna be worth. The relationship some some unions take place where none of the the two partners are conscious and they're not practicing self-development spiritually emotionally and mentally and physically even um, but it all starts in the in the unseen in the spiritual matter so in the inner world right so it can be that for two people that aren't on that path, it would be way too intense for them and then they might end up splitting up or just having a break. That's why a lot of um, twin flame relationships also have a break in between. Some have it for two years, some have it for a month. Sometimes, um, you know, it's all individual and it's all in your own soul contracts. So before we come onto earth, we have soul contracts with all the people we're meeting, the animals, the plants, the things we eat, all, all our whole journey and even things we might feel is meant for us, that's because it is, because you signed up for that. That's your movie. That's your experience that you want to um, then later on when you pass on from your body, you want to be able to watch and then you, you see those things and it's like a, a movie. It's like your own movie. So... But that's for a different video. The whole point of the twin flame relationship is to raise the consciousness of the earth and as well for your development. What happens in twin flame relationship? So let me explain it in a way of like a pyramid. So we have a pyramid and the base is the biggest, you know, biggest area. The twin flame is on top. So we have on the base, the biggest area, which we have most on earth are the... I would say like karmic relationships let's call it like that it's karmic relationships and then we got regular relationships and then we got the soulmates and then on top we got the twin flames so the the karmic relationships are really you know those relationships that you might have had as a teenager or in your 20s even or even if you're in your 30s or 40s and you're not you know you don't feel that that person has hit yet you 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 might just have signed up for a lot of karmic work or just regular relationships or maybe a soulmate and it was like not it um so it it really varies in in your soul contract and what you want to experience on earth and what you want to learn the regular relationships these relationships are you know have you ever seen a couple walk down the street and there's nothing in particular that really is fiery about them. It's just they are together because that's what they chose. That's in their soul contract. They chose this person. It's not super passionate, but it's also not um, extremely toxic. Like, it's, it's just regular, you know? It's just, like, safety, basically. Like, in your comfort zone, it's very much... Um, you know, I basically chose you to have a, to have children, to have a companion, and I don't, you know, I don't want to be too fiery, let's say like that. Uh, soulmates are very harmonious, actually, um, and you can have multiple soulmates as well. This is this is not only a romantic relationship kind of thing. A soulmate is someone where it's just very harmonious you barely fight okay which for some people it can get boring because there is no um no extreme growth involved meaning that doesn't mean that when you're fighting people all the time that you're growing a lot um let's just put it like that a soulmate is someone that you know you can grow with very harmoniously but it might get a little too 
monotone for some people because maybe you're called to be in a twin flame relationship that will push you, challenge you, and make you this complete different new person. And um, that's what a twin flame relationship is. It's really when you are together, it, it's very challenging, especially in the beginning. It can be um, that you have a lot of fights. You know, it's it can be very uncomfortable for the both of you when there's a runner and a chaser. Um, personally, for us, <clears throat> I've I know a lot of twin flame relationships as well, and they always they tell me the same thing. And my husband and I back then when we when we met, we actually really did trigger each other and this is good because when you like someone but you trigger each other you can figure it out you know and not run away but sometimes I used to run away and he used to chase and so <clears throat> the dynamic of a twin flame relationship is very much this is too intense I don't know what to do with this intensity but then you figure it out and you grow from it immensely. Twin flames, um, those people that are in a twin flame relationship, they usually grow extremely fast and very, uh, like a lot. <laughs> like drastic changes can happen in their life. Lots of change inside their world, but also outside of their world. So um, because of the impact they have a lot of impact not only in the outside world but also in the inside so it's a great opportunity to heal and transform and in general if you have a relationship even a regular or karmic relationship you always learn you always heal you always you know if you're reflective you always have an opportunity to learn something from this relationship and with this relationship but a twin flame relationship is just more intense it's like that Scorpio energy Scorpios for instance are just extremely they're like the most intense sign in the entire zodiac sign and and that's why <laughs> sometimes it can repel people right and that's how it is in a twin flame relationship it can maybe repel someone and be maybe someone is afraid you know one the, the man or the woman or whoever is kind of afraid of that connection because it's so intense and also I want to state that there is a big um, delusion before you meet your twin flame and it's your false twin flame so everyone everyone before you meet your twin flame you will meet your false twin flame and it will be huge karma it will be so it will also be so much growth because it is the opposite of your twin flame it's like your false twin flame preparing you for twin flame love it is also very intense but very toxic so make sure that it's important you know that you use your intuition you know you you will know and that's important for you to listen to that because it can be very detrimental but it can which means it can be very transformative to um you know help you connect with your twin flame also another thing usually you attract your twin flame around your enlightenment so when you have an enlightenment um, and we can have multiple enlightenments it doesn't matter how enlightened someone is if you're doing the inner work and if you're doing personal development then you will be born over and over again in the same body in the same not even your body your body changes too because your inner world changes so it can be that you know, you have an enlightenment, the first one, second one, fifth one, fifteenth one, and that's when you meet your twin flame um, because you are ready for that consciousness. You are ready for that intensity, for that wisdom. It's also a lot of things that uh, people start channeling a lot of things. And yeah, it is a big part to, in the beginning, be uncomfortable and have some, some fights, some very intense fights. But they say, you know, when you have a really rocky road, right, that's the twin flame relationship. And then you get out and it's like this beautiful beach and it's just paradise. You got everything you need. You got your coconut water. You got your food over there. You have you have everything you need. You have your wealthy life. It looks and feels and smells and tastes beautiful, right? That's what it is. So you have to go through the uncomfortable um, to get to where your true 
desire, you, your soul's purpose, your soul's desire truly wants. And in our experience, you know, in the beginning, it was very challenging. Um, of course, it was not, it's not only challenging, it's not only fights. It's very passionate and intense, but when there are fights, <laughs> it's the same intensity, right? It's the, that flame that rises. It can be in love and rise, and it can be in fight and flight and rise. So we had to really navigate and be aware and conscious of our traumas because um, we were showing each other our traumas, our, our, you know, our certain belief systems that were put in our, in our subconscious by our parents, by our grandparents, by our close friends back then. And we really truly blossomed and transformed completely. I mean, I, I truly came into my nature with this person next to me, with my husband, and he came into his nature too. It was a very beautiful dance and, um, it's so worth it. I'm telling you, it's so worth it. And yeah, when we walk on the street or, you know, when we're in certain areas, people look at us in a certain way because they can feel the energy of the union. Um, because it's just, it's not just one person, it's two people. And we are like that, you know, like twins. <laughs> um, very intense telepathy also happens. Telepathy can happen in any relationship, even karmic relationships. I'm not saying that the twin flame relationship is the only one where telepathy really comes forth. But in a twin flame relationship, because everything is maximized, so imagine a soulmate is like amazing, harmonious. But imagine a twin flame relationship when you come out in the other end, you know, you drive through that dark and scary tunnel and it's uncomfortable and it's cold. And then you get out to the beautiful light and warmth and love it's it's way more intense okay and it's it's worth it because that's that's the whole point is that if you really want this kind of love are you willing to work on yourself for the the world's evolution for your own future generations for your lineages i had to move over here because it's so hot and i freaking am red Guys, I used to never get red, ever. I was always very like tan, brown. And now I just get red since I'm with my twin flame. <laughs> Literally, that's when it happened. When I started dating Anthony, the first time I've had a sunburn in my life was on my nose. And now I sometimes get red. Sometimes I don't, sometimes I do, depends. It also depends on what you eat and I, Right now, currently, I'm high raw vegan, so I have uh, mostly fruit, sometimes salad, but mostly fruit. And then um, I might have like some some lentils or, or beans. But anyways, besides, this is totally not, this is totally off topic. If you want to attract your twin flame, I would not recommend you force it and go out on dating apps and try to find it unless you feel truly called to do that okay but to be honest you're gonna attract your twin flame when you are focusing on yourself that is when that's gonna happen mm, because it is such a magical thing like trust me when you unite with your twin flame in the beginning magical things start happening in your life and you start like it might it might be that you start seeing UFOs together or like a bunch of shooting stars or just like magical situations and um, and that keeps happening in the relationship the only difference is that it kind of becomes like normal yeah it's like of course we're having a magical life I mean look what we're creating look what we've created together and in, as individuals but to, you know individuality means together actually so how you can attract your twin flame is literally by just focusing on yourself, you know, and really making sure that you let go 
of the need to when it will happen and how it will happen and with whom it will happen. Anthony was the last, okay, not the last, but <laughs> I would have never thought that we would be where we are today. We both did not know that our twin, the twin flame connection was in our life. We were just friends first. And before we were friends, we were actually business partners, sort of. And we had no idea. We didn't even feel attracted to each other. At least I didn't. I don't know how guys work a little different, I think. <laughs> but yeah, just be patient with everything in your life. I learned that the journey that you are on right now, look around and be present because one day, five years from, from now, two years from now, you're going to look back at that moment and you're going to be like, man, I, I wish I could time travel back to that place, to that spot, that energy. And that's why I've, I've learned the present moment. It's really important. No matter where you are, if you want to be a millionaire and have an amazing big career and you're just always constantly worrying when it's going to happen and how it's going to happen, it's just not a fun life, to be honest. <laughs> so just be in the present moment and trust and flow and just focus on yourself. Focus on what you like to do. Focus on what you love to do. What makes you happy? What makes you open your heart? When you have your heart open, you are making more room for miracles. Do more of what you, you love because that opens your heart. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, um, let me know in the comments. You can also DM us. You can, you know, see us in the next video.